so without further ado, and so with a total of 126 hours and 28 minutes, Progressive Property Ventures, you have set a new Guinness World Record for yeah. oh, the longest speech marathon. Congratulations. The money that we've raised together as a community, because it's everyone that's involved, will change people's lives at Sue Rider. It's for a great cause and, and we've all done something great. I feel a bit tired now. Uh, it's been a great experience uh, and thank you if you've been part of it. Hi, it's Rob Moore here and we're outside this beautiful building and in the amazing grounds of Sue Rider Thorpe Hall Hospice. Now for the third year in a row, myself, Mark and many of you in the progressive community have supported this amazing charity who help care for people who are getting towards the end of their life or who are seriously ill. So Sue Ryder Thorpe Hall is quite special to me. My father uh, came here at the end of his life. They cared for him and he had a, a much more comfortable experience. In fact, he was in a room just, just up there on the, on the first floor. So Thorpe Hall is, is, is very special to me and quite close to my heart. So it makes me feel great that we as a community can raise the money to keep this place going to, to pay the nursing staff and all those people who support it, I, I just think it's a great thing. I've got a family at the minute and um, they've got two little girls and they find it quite difficult in the, in the room with the dad because mm. um, he's quite poorly. Right. But they, they come out here and then yeah. they go and play with the doll's house and they love it. Mm. It just takes them away. Yeah. It's really nice. Why do you do this? Why, do you, why are you a nurse here? Because I had um, family with illnesses where they didn't have anywhere to go that was nice or places where we could go um, and here it is nice and I feel like we give the, the nicest care that they can have at the end of their life. Mm. So you, your whole reason for, for doing this and being in this career is because of what you felt your family lacked? Yeah. yeah. And then to see it being paid forward and private people bringing a lot of money in and then improving the quality of life must, yeah. be, must be great. feel very grateful for yeah. that. The thought that we're able to do something with our community and in our business, which is quite a sort of a, a capital and business focused thing that actually helps save people's lives and extend their life and people are living longer, that's a pretty amazing feeling. How does it help the patients having a room like this? I think it makes them feel more at home rather than in a hospital setting. It's not as clinical, I suppose. Mm. And I suppose they bring their families in, do they, to, yeah. to come and visit? Yeah, yeah. This, this, some of the families stop overnight. We've got put up beds that, yeah. that they can stay on. We have respite patients. And What's respite? So people with like long-term conditions like COPD yeah. or motor neurons, things like that. Um, and they come for respite yeah. for, for a few, a few days, weeks, or weeks yeah. yeah. And then we have patients that are at the end of their life that stay here until the end. Yeah. And do some people come here and improve and then are yeah. able to move out? Yeah. 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 And some come just for symptom management or pain control and then go home. Mm. Do you think the fact that this is new and nice to be in helps the patients? I mean, helps them help from a health perspective? Yeah. Yeah. I think so. Because mm. It don't make them give up. So now ongoing we have to raise money for the care that we provide. So it costs two point eight million pounds a year to run the services from here and we have to fundraise one point five million of that every year. So money that, that you've raised is, is is huge for us. It goes a long, long way to, to help that. The thing I was thinking was you come to a place like this, this is not like you don't feel like you're coming in a place to die. You feel mm. like you're in a nice place where it's bright, where there are really nice, friendly, helpful people who are all saying hello and all pretty positive about everything. And I can imagine that's quite uplifting. Talking about ambition and hearing kind of the end of this, this whole speech, what we have to say is thank you so much to Rob and to Mark, not just for having ambition for themselves and the company, but actually having the ambition to do this to raise money for us because every 10,000 pounds that you have managed to raise 
during this event will pay for 24 hours of incredible care for 20 people at the end of their lives. So just hold that thought. Sue Ryder Thorpe Hall is very close to both of us. It's close to me because they have a saying that you can't change the outcome, but you can change the journey. And I think you get a real feeling for that here. You know, this allows anyone to come and have a really good quality of life and have their life extended. And so it's great what we do in the community to keep this place going. I just want to say a huge thank you to you, to everyone in the community who support Progressive, who contributed to raising the money, over £95,000 this time, £125,000 last year, I think we're over £300,000, which is just an amazing thing to do, so I want to thank you very much for being part of that. I'm also very appreciative. Thank you all for what you did.